Hello, I'm so glad you're here and joining me in this 30 minute Pilates workout. Um, today we're going to be using the ring and we'll kind of go from there, see what else we uh, decide to play with. But for now, just have that ring handy and we'll set our springs for footwork. So on my reformer, I'm going to be doing three reds and one blue. It's up to you what you would like to do your settings on for footwork. And we'll go ahead and get started. I'm gonna raise my headrest for my neck alignment and I'm gonna lay down. Scooting away from the shoulder blocks, position your ring on the inside of your ankles. Bring your legs to a tabletop position, two straight arms to the sky. Inhale to prepare. Exhale to chest lift up, hands down by your sides for the 100s. Firmly popping the arms, we're breathing in through the nose for five quick counts. Out through the mouth for five quick counts. Extend those legs out straight on a high diagonal and keep going. We've got a nice flat lumbar spine. Chin close to the chest. Last big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, return to tabletop, hands behind the head, elbows wide. Take tiny chest lifts. Move your rib cage slightly closer to those hips as you lift. Being mindful that you're not yanking or pulling on your neck. And staying lifted, just the legs go out and in. Exhale, out, in, Helen. Each time you straighten your legs, squeeze your ring a little harder. And keeping the legs straight, pulse the ring. And holding the ring tight, take five chest lifts. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Let's ditch the ring off to the side. Getting started with footwork, you can scoot against the blocks. Let's start with the heels on the bar as wide as the bar. Legs rotated and then arms at your sides. Taking an inhale, press the carriage out, straightening your legs. Exhale to return. Inhale to press. Exhale to return. You want to focus on squeezing into the backs of those legs, utilizing those glutes, utilizing those hamstrings. Each exhalation, those ribs knit together nice and tight. We'll take the next one out halfway, small pulses of the carriage, out an inch or so, in an inch or so. Stay deep in your squat, swiveling on those heels, knees in, knees out, bringing those feet along for the rig. Feel your inner thighs pull the knees together, feel your glutes pry the knees apart. And keeping those knees turned in, start to pulse the carriage. Double check you still have a natural curvature in your lumbar spine. And then take it all the way out and in. You separate on the way out, return on the way in. And halfway out, those knees connected again, little pulses of the carriage. And stay deep in your squat, open and close the knees, swiveling on the heels. And keeping the knees apart, press it out one time and bring it all the way back in. Let's do legs together, toes on the bar, big toes touching, heels lifted high. From here, slide all the way out and resist coming in. Inhale, press, exhale, return. You want to work to keep your heels lifted high in the same spot the whole time. So however high your heels are lifted when your legs are straight, that's going to be your maximum height. Staying connected to your breathing. Then let's start to add a calf raise. So we slide out, lower the heels, lift the heels, and return. Inhale, lower the heels. Exhale, lift the heels and return. Take it 
Take the next one out just halfway, pulse the carriage. Double check you still have a natural curvature in the small upper lower back. And staying deep in your squat, just the heels down and up. Keep the heels lifted, pulse the carriage. Slide all the way up, so legs are straight. Take this into prancing, alternate bending the knees. Stretching out those calves. Bend the knees, draw the carriage in. If you lifted your head rest, go ahead and put it down for this. And we'll move into some bridge work. Let's incorporate that ring. Take the ring, thread it through your legs above your knees like pants. Arches on the top of the bar. Separate your feet enough so that they're in line with your knees and then arms come at your sides. Taking an exhale slowly, roll the hips up into a bridge. Inhale to stay. Exhale to roll the spine back down, one vertebrae at a time, through imprint, back to neutral. Little inhale at the bottom, exhale, imprint the lower back, begin to roll the hips up. Inhale to stay at the top, press harder into your circle, and then exhale to roll the spine back down. Two more like that, exhale, roll the hips up. Inhale at the top, Exhale, roll the hips back down. This next bridge, stay lifted at the top of your bridge and start to pulse the ring. Try to split your circle apart. Notice that you're pressing equally through both sides. Holding the ring nice and tight, pulse the hips for small pelvic thrusts. Without rolling through the spine, tap the tailbone down and up, inhale down, exhale up. As you're lifting your hips, press harder into that circle. Next time, stay lifted, pulse the ring. Five, four, three, two, one, inhale, lift higher. Exhale, roll the spine all the way back down. Take the ring into the arches of your feet. Pull on the other end of it with your hands for a stretch on those hamstrings. Flexing your toes towards your nose. Position the ring on the inside of your ankles for an ab series. Legs to tabletop, hands to the outside of the shins. Lifting the head, neck, and shoulders. From here, take double leg stretch. Reach your arms and legs away. Squeeze the ring hard. Exhale, circle the arms around. Inhale, reach. Exhale, circle. Driving the lower back firmly into the carriage. Stay extended, pulse the ring. Hold the ring tight, take little pulses of the arms and legs towards each other. Keep looking at your foot bar. Three, two, and one. Dishing the ring off to the side. Two arches on the bar about three inches apart and parallel. Without moving the carriage, lift the hips up into your bridge, right leg to the sky. Flex the foot, lower the leg, point the foot, return. Flex to lower, point to lift. And use your right leg to the sky, toes pointed, lower the tailbone down and up. Inhale down, exhale up, five times. When you finish your fifth one, stay lifted to replace. Left leg comes up, flex the foot, lower the leg, point the foot, return. Flex to lower, point to lift. Keeping the leg lifted to the ceiling, toes pointed, lower the tailbone down five times, creating the same hole in the ceiling all five times. When you finish, stay lifted to replace. Take an inhale, lift the pelvis up slightly higher. Make sure your feet and knees are pointing forward. Exhale, roll the spine all the way back down. Then we'll set ourselves all the way up. 
We'll change our spring setting. Drop it down so that you're on one red, one blue. Grab your ring and we'll lay down with that. Position the ring around the inside of your ankles and then grab onto your hand straps. Scoot away from your blocks so you're not jammed into them. Establish shoulders above the wrist, hips above the knees, and a flat lower back. Take an inhale to prepare. Exhale to press the arms down. Inhale, arms to the ceiling. Exhale, press the arms down. Inhale, arms to the ceiling. Taking it another step, you can add a chest lift as you press your arms down. Inhale to return. Exhale, lift, reach. Inhale, return. Then we'll add the legs. So as you lift up, reach the legs out, squeeze the ring, hold it. Inhale, return. Exhale, lift, extend, squeeze. Inhale, return. So be careful that you're not going too fast. Driving those lower vertebrae down. Two more. On this last one, stay lifted. Start to pump the arms like the 100s, breathing in through the nose for five quick counts, out through the mouth for five quick counts. Your carriage should stay completely stationary. Keep reaching forwards. Tabletop the legs, rest the head, and rotate the palms of your hands to face your hips. Inhale to open your arms to the side. Exhale to the hips. Inhale to the side. Exhale to the hips. As the hands come to the hips, add your chest lift, reach the legs out straight. Inhale to return. Exhale, lift, extend. Inhale, return. And again. Reaching past those glutes. Two more. Last time, stay lifted. Everything is straight. Pulse the ring. Hands reaching forwards. Chin up the chest. And tabletop those legs. Lift the arms and rest your head. We'll go ahead and hang those straps back up. We'll ditch the ring. And we'll set ourselves all the way up. Let's take our boxes and we'll place our boxes on long ways. Long box is going to go right against your shoulder blocks. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and come up to an all fours position here. Shoulders above the wrists, hips above the knees. Taking an inhale to let your tail lift your sternum for a cow. Exhale. Round your spine, push the box away for cat. Again, inhale, tilt your tail with your sternum for cow. Exhale, around your spine, push the box away. From here, lengthen your spine to neutral. Extend your right arm and your left leg. Put it all back down and then switch. Alternate continuously, making sure that your hand and your knee leave your box at the same time and come back at the same time. On the next one, stay extended. Gently pulse your arm and leg up and down a few inches, generating your own muscular resistance as if your arm and your leg each weigh a thousand pounds. Keeping that resistance, round your spine, pull your elbow and knee together tight. Inhale, reach it back out. Exhale, round. Inhale, reach. Two more. Last time, stay extended, reach nice and long, super straight limbs, and put it all down. Then we'll switch, other arm and leg are up, little pulses to begin. Thumb is facing the ceiling. And then rounding the spine, pull the elbow and knee together tight. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round. Inhale, reach. Last two. Last time, stay extended, reach nice and long, straight limbs, and put it all down. 
Lie down onto your belly, facing the same way you already are. You can stay on a red and a blue, or if you have the option, you could do a red and a white, which will be a little bit lighter if you need it. Chest comes off, heels of the hands are on the bar, in line with your shoulders. We need to slide off the stopper enough to find a starting position with our shoulders above our elbows. And from here, we'll take an exhale, press the carriage all the way out. Inhale to resist, stopping your shoulders above your elbows. Exhale to press out. Inhale to resist. Once you get the hang of it, go ahead and lift your legs up just a touch. Point your feet, pressing your pelvis firmly into the box. You should be feeling this through your triceps. Let's take it out just about halfway. Little pulses here of the carriage. Really tuning those elbows downwards towards the ground. Then take it all the way out five times. Full range. Four. Three. Two and one. Draw it in. Drop your setting to one red, one red spring only. Scoot forward a little more. Two wide hands on the top part of the bar. Slide out, drop your chest, and let your feet separate as wide as your hands. With straight arms, inhale, lift your chest, extend your spine for swan stretch. Exhale, slide back out, drop the chest heavily through the arms. Inhale, lift the chest, extend the spine. Exhale, back out. And two more. Make sure your pubic bone stays connected to your box. And last time, inhale, lift. And exhale to slide out. Bend the elbows, draw the carriage in. Make your way to seated on the box with your feet on the headrest. Scooching all the way forward, reach down, grab your straps, take the straps, thread them through your legs, above your knees like pants. Then make sure again you're right at the front here and then carefully lay down and lift your legs up to tabletop. We'll be in a chest lift. Let's do hands behind the head, elbows wide, flat lower back from this position. Inhale, reach the legs out. Exhale, pull the knees in. Inhale, legs away. Exhale, knees in. Keeping your feet always visible above the line of your knees. As your knees come in, rotate your shoulders to one side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, rotate to the other side. Your goal is to keep your pelvis firmly anchored to the box. Flat lower back. Let's do one more on each side. Last time. Then you can grab a hold of your knees, take a quick breath. Be careful if you let your head go back because it's kind of far. Okay, then we'll do round two. So curling into your chest lift. This time hands come to the outsides of the shins. Inhale, reach the arms and legs away. Exhale, circle the arms to the shins. Inhale, reach. Exhale, circle. Again, flat lower back. If it's not flat, please keep your legs higher. And on the next one, stay extended. Arms and legs are out. Little pulses towards and away. Five, four, three, two, and one. Carefully sitting yourself all the way up. And then we'll take our legs out of there. You can hang your straps back up. We're going to stand all the way up off the reformer, change our setting, one blue spring, put the blue on first, take the red off second, and then carefully lose light, so carefully coming up onto an all fours position just to get up here, drop yourself down to elbows and forearms, interlace your fingertips, place your feet together on the top of the bar, and carefully lift your knees and slide out into a plank. Now, if this feels too challenging, you can always do a red spring instead. 
which will provide you with a little bit more support. We'll take a static hold here. Glutes active, belly button tight to the spine, looking towards your hands. And let's begin to press the carriage forward and back to where it was. Inhale forward, exhale back to where it was. And keeping your elbows under the line of your shoulder, take scooters, bend the knees in and out, in and out. And keeping those legs straight, holding your plank. Nicely bend those knees and place them all the way down. Let's lay down onto our belly, facing the same way. Chest comes off the edge of the box. Ropes come into the hands. You're gonna choke up nice and high. So I threaded my handles through my arms and then I'm holding up really high. As high up as is necessary so that when your arms are lifted in line with your ears, there's tension, but your carriage is still into the sapper. Activate the muscles in your legs, point your feet, and take a giant sweep of the arms all the way to the thighs, lifting the chest slightly. Inhale, so bring the arms forward, lower the chest, look down. Again, exhale, sweep the hands to the thighs, lift the sternum, inhale, slowly back in front of you. Exhale, sweep. Inhale, return. Press your two hip bones and your pubic bone firmly into the box. On the next one, keep your hands at your thighs. Go swimming with your legs. Little flutters stemming from the shoulders, stemming from those hips. Make sure your hands are still all the way up high by your thighs. Hold your legs still. Tricep kickbacks. Gently bend and extend from the elbow, keeping your elbow frozen in space. Five, four, three, two. Last time, hold it at the thighs. Go back into swimming. See if you can lift your chest a little higher. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's hang up only the left strap. Keep me your right one. Press yourself up on top of your box. Give yourself a nice cat stretch or even a child's pose. And then we'll go ahead and I like to crawl forward a little bit more. Sit your tush to your heels and using your hands, reel yourself in and hook your right arch into your strap. Once that's hooked, two hands to the corners of the box, take your left knee back and over toward the right. Dropping the right leg down so it's straight, take an exhale, pull it all the way to hip height behind you. Inhale to resist, coming back down. Exhale up. Inhale down. So most of our weight should be in our right hand. If you are feeling like you really have your balance, feel free to lift the left hand an inch or so, or carefully extend it all the way forward, but please be careful. Soft right elbow, make sure it's not hyperextending. And on your next one, keep the right leg lifted up at hip height, flex the foot. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, straighten the knee. Five toes facing the ground. And keeping your right leg extended straight at hip height, hold it. Lift and lower, little pulses from the hip for five, four, three, two. Last time, hold it and place it all down. Woo, it's tough. Reel yourself in, take your foot out of that strap. Let's hang it back up. Let's do the other side. Reel yourself in, 
looking at the arch of your left foot into your strap. And then we'll go ahead and place our hands at the corners of the box. Take your right knee back and over toward the left and then drop the left leg. Already I'm transferring most of my weight into my left arm. From this position, take an exhale, sweep your leg all the way up to hip height. Inhale to resist coming back down. Exhale, sweep it up. Inhale, resist it down. Again, if you feel like you have your balance, you can lift your right hand a couple of inches. Or if you'd like to reach the arm all the way forward, that works too. Same amount of effort up, same amount of effort down. Keeping the leg lifted, flex your foot, make sure all five toes face the ground. Inhale to bend the knee in, stop it in line with the right one. Exhale to press it back out. Rock solid abs, soft left elbow. And keeping that left leg straight at hip height, flex the foot, lift and lower, tiny pulse. Keep it lifted and hold it, reach a little longer, and place it all down. All right, let's take our legs out of there, hang up that strap. Let's take this into one more plank. We'll drop it down to elbows and forearms. Interlace your fingertips, feet together on the top of the bar, and carefully slide it out. Static hold, let's get a good burn going. Shoulders above the elbows, heels above the toes. Tailbone slightly scoops so you're not sagging through your lower back. Let's take scooter with rotation, bend the knees, point them to one side, slide back out to regular plank, inhale, bend the knees, point them to the other side, slide back out to regular plank. Keep alternating side to side. One more time each side. Holding your plank, two straight legs. Keeping those legs straight, pipe the hips, pull the carriage in. Inhale, lift the head into alignment as you slide back out. Exhale, pipe the hips, drop the head. Inhale, lift the head. Two more. Last time. Exhale, lift. Inhale into your plank and hold it. And nicely bend those knees and place them down. Good. All right, let's take the box. We'll put it back down. Move mine back here on our way. And then let's come back to the reformer. Let's change it to one red spring. One red. Feet go against the shoulder blocks. Heels the hands at the very top of the bar. I'm going to push the carriage out just enough to lower the pelvis into a modified plank. And from here, let's do two sets of somewhere between 5 to 10 tricep push-ups. You want to be forward enough. Make sure your chest is coming towards the foot bar. Elbows to the ribs. And once you're in this position, your carriage should stay still while you perform the push-ups. When you finish your first set, bring your feet together and slide it out into a child's pose. All right, round two, feet against the blocks, heels of the hands at the top of the bar, squeeze your tush, press up the carriage out so your hips come down into your modified plank. And again, somewhere between five and 10 tricep push-ups. Inhale down, exhale up. Looking at the ground in front of the reformer. And when you finish, take it into a child's pose, hips to heels, resting. All right, let's transition into elephant, standing up. 
Walk your heels back to your blocks. Drop your chest heavily to your arms. Keeping your heels down, give your carriage a slight rock back and forth. Draw the carriage in. Take your right hand, grab onto the outside of your left calf or ankle, wherever you can reach, and kind of pull yourself underneath your left shoulder. Feel free to pedal out any of those knees. Replace your right hand. Left hand grabs the outside of your right calf, pulling yourself underneath that right shoulder for a nice twist. And then replacing that hand, go ahead and lower down to your knees, big toes together, slide it out, hands up on the bar, child's pose. Taking a big inhalation in through the nose, exhale it all out through the mouth, and slowly drawing your carriage back in towards the stopper, walking your hands onto your knees, sitting tall, take your shoulders up, down, and back, and you're all done. Hope you got a good, quick workout in and enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.